Hey everybody, welcome back to another midweek episode. You know, one of the things for me as a pastor that is hard to see is when another pastor, especially a pastor who is well-respected, falls from grace. You know, one of those pastors in my life is a man named Tulian Chuvich, and he's actually the, the grandson of Billy Graham. And about a decade ago, I, I came across his material and really, really respected him, especially in the ways that he, he pointed to the grace of God. And then a few years ago, I, I heard that he had committed some act of impropriety, ended up divorcing his wife, and was forced to resign from ministry. And, and that, that's just hard for me to see. And yet, even in that, it, it made me wonder, did he truly fall from grace? Like, what, is that, what does that phrase mean, to fall from grace? Because the Bible actually uses that phrase. Galatians chapter 5, verse 4, talks about uh, how when we decide that we are justified or held up by our own good works, that's when we fall from grace. But when we recognize our brokenness and our sinful proclivities, and when we cling to Jesus in that, we haven't truly fallen from grace. We've fallen into the arms of God's grace. And, and this is what I saw happen with Tuli and Chuvichin. I mean, he, Yes, he fell from grace, at least in his church and in his pastoral ministry. But, but in the years that followed, and as I've continued to follow him, I, I've seen that he hasn't fallen from God's grace. He's fallen into God's grace, and he's been restored within ministry. And one of the quotes that I came across as we're going through this Grace Stories series is, he said, my life doesn't look more like Jesus. My life looks like someone who desperately needs more of Jesus. And I think that's a good reminder for all of us that we all have those moments where we fall, where we commit some act of impropriety, maybe on a large scale level, maybe on a small scale level. And yet that doesn't mean that we have to fall from grace. Sometimes it simply means that we fall into the arms of grace. And as we go through Holy Week, as we set our focus toward the cross, my invitation to you is if you feel like you have fallen from grace, no. If you feel like in your life you don't look like Jesus, join the crew. My life doesn't always look like Jesus either. It looks like someone who desperately needs Jesus, and you do too. So let's fall into grace, into the arms of Jesus, arms which were hung on the cross, suffered and died, which took the nails for us. Because none of us is justified by the good that we do. We're justified by the good that Jesus has done for us. So thanks for joining me today. I'll see you again next time.